Hello everybody and welcome back to another GTA 5 tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to install OpenIV so you can go ahead and put mods into GTA 5. So I'm going to leave the link down below for Open4. All you have to do is just go down below, hit the link, and you'll be able to come to this page. What you want to do is you want to hit download now right here. This big green button, you're going to want to hit that, and then you're going to go in and hit open file. It's going to come up here to downloads. You're going to hit open file. And you're going to go right here to English, unless you want Russian, but you're going to go to English, hit continue. And you are going to go ahead. You can read through all the terms and then go down here to I accept to the terms of this agreement and then click continue. So then you are going to go ahead and click continue. It's going to put this onto your desktop also, and you have it on your files. I'll show you how to open it once you install it. I'm just going to hit continue right here and click yes. So we're going to go ahead and install open for in. And then we're going to be able to pull it up. Now, what we want to do while this is installing is actually it's already done. So we're going to click close. We're going to want to go to Steam, Steam Library, or Grand Theft Auto 5, right click, hit manage and browse local files. That's going to pull up our GTA 5 main directory. Now, I may have a lot more folders than what you have. Don't worry about that. We're just showing you how to install open for today so you could get into installing mods for your GTA 5. So we're going to go right here and you see I have a mods folder. If you do not have a mods folder, right click, hit new and create folder. And you're going to want to create a mods folder, all lowercase letters, M-O-D-S. So once you have your mods folder in there, you're good. So now what you want to do is go here, type here to search, and you're going to want to go ahead and type in open IV. So we're going to click that and then we're going to open it up. Now you're going to want to go right here where it says Grand Theft Auto 5. We're going to click Windows. And now it wants to know your GTA 5 main directory's location. So we just pulled that up. So we're going to go ahead and grab our folder. And yours is not going to be the same as mine. So follow your route. So watch my cursor. My cursor is going up here to the top. Mine says that it's in this PC, Windows C, Program Files x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Grand Theft Auto 5. So follow what yours says, not what mine says. Follow what yours says, because that's where your GTA 5 main directory will be. So what we're going to do is hit browse, and we are going to go ahead and follow them steps. So it says this PC. So the very first thing is we are going to go to Windows C, click on that, and then we are going to go to Program Files x86. Then we're going to go to Steam. So let me go to Steam. And mine says Steam Apps. So we're going to go to Steam Apps. Again, follow your route. Don't follow mine. We're going to go to Common and Grand Theft Auto 5. So I'm going to click on it once. So once you get to yours, again, following these steps right here, each one of these on your screen, what you see in your GTA 5 main directory, once you get to the folder, Grand Theft Auto 5, you want to go ahead and not go in it. You just want to click on it, okay, where it's highlighted like that, and then select folder. And then you should see the green lettering right here that says successfully open for can work with this file. We're going to click continue. We're going to click continue one more time. And we are going to go ahead and let open for open up. So anytime that you want to go ahead and open it up, you could just go type here to search and just type in open IV. And it will pop up for you. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and enlarge this. There's a couple of things that we're going to do here. We're going to go to tools. We're going to go to ASI manager. And we are going to go ahead and right here, yours should say install. Mine says uninstall because I have all three of them installed. So go ahead and install all three of these. ASI loader, open IV, dot ASI, and open camera. Once you have all three of them installed, click close. And then up here at the top, you want to hit edit mode. Okay. Click edit mode. Anytime that you're going to go in here and install files, you need to have edit mode. So now you should have your mods folder in there. And whatever you have in your mods folder. Uh, if you don't have anything in there, that's perfectly fine. You're just starting out. So what I would tell you to do is go ahead and go to your update folder, go here, X 64, and you could go DLC packs. And I would just start by installing patch day 25. So hit DLC RPF and it's just say copy to mods folder. So go ahead and click copy to mods folder. Mine says show in mods folder. It's going to jump me over to my mods folder. Okay. So now I'm in my mods folder. So one more thing that I'm going to show you guys to install is go to update one more time. Go to update.rpf 
and copy that to mods folder okay it's going to say show a mods folder for me because i have it you want to copy it to mods folder okay so you now have open for installed you are ready to go again remember anytime that you're going to do anything put edit mode on there is a way for you to go in here and you could put edit mo edit mode on all the time we're going to go into end it here you do have open for on your pc thank you all for coming by and watching we'll see you all on the next one if you could do me that one favor if you are new to the channel definitely hit that subscribe button and hit that like button for me i greatly appreciate it and you guys are on your way to being able to mod your game.